Guatemala City, Guatemala, country number 16, since starting Trent the Globe. And we are loving it! <laughs> we are Chris and Marianne from the UK and we decided to travel the world. So we're attempting to step foot in every country in the world and if you're new to our channel then make sure you subscribe now to come on this adventure with us. So one of the tips you get when you're traveling is to avoid the capital cities and you look online and there's lots of comments saying avoid Guatemala City, it's dangerous and we made the decision to spend an extra day, we spent three nights here and today we're going to explore the town a little bit and uh, try and show you some good stuff. So we've come down to the cathedral which you can see behind me here. So we're going to go and check that out and also we're not far from the main central market which I have heard is full of delicious food, crafts and real Guatemalan products. is the Metropolitan Cathedral behind me. This is the side door and we have just had a beautiful walk round. It is glorious. This building was built between 1790 and 1815. there was a massive earthquake in Antigua in Guatemala and some of the artifacts were actually rescued and brought here to this museum just next to the Cathedral Metropolitan. So just to the side of the cathedral is this long pedestrian street with lots of shops and um, fast food outlets and then behind the cathedral is actually the central market which is what we're looking for now. So behind us here we found the central market so let's go and have a look and see what there is on offer. I'm, I'm hungry! I'm super hungry. quite often when you walk around markets there are goods that aren't necessarily your kind of thing but here everything is absolutely beautiful it's all handcrafted goods locally made and from all over Guatemala I literally am just so blown away by the quality and the just absolutely beautiful items of clothing for sale I'm not really somebody that lives out of anything more than a backpack or a van, but I could do with a bigger wardrobe and a bigger backpack. It's beautiful stuff, absolutely beautiful. So it's Saturday morning and actually the market is actually reasonably quiet, but what actually amazes me is the colors that you walk around of the, the handbags, the clothing, it's just so bright. And I don't know whether I've ever been to a market that is this bright. Also, just walking through the market, it is super cool. Everyone comes up and says, do you need any help? Or are you looking for something? You say, no, thank you. And they're like, okay. So it's really lovely because everybody's so super friendly, really lovely and no stress or hassle or hard sell. It's really nice. You get the opportunity to just walk around and enjoy the beautiful things. So if you do come to Guatemala City and you're looking for some souvenirs or something to buy to remind you of your time here in Guatemala. I would definitely recommend coming to this 
Central Market located just behind the cathedral. Absolutely amazing place. And uh, make sure you haggle um, the, uh, all of the shops here. It's very competitive, so uh, they'll be up for it. And you're expected to give them a good haggle. So you are now on YouTube. <laughs> Hello, Can you having a good time? Yeah. yeah. Guatemala City's cool. Yeah. There you go. Cool. <laughs> So if you come down one floor from the central market in the basement is this amazing food hall market where they've got fresh fruits, vegetables, the smells, nuts, spices and everything. It's just the atmosphere down here is absolutely fascinating. And apparently there are food stalls down here to find something to eat. So we're going to try and see if we can find some local food. And we have our cutlery with us, so no plastic forks. Absolutely. which actually literally translated means rags and it's called that because the meat that they use shreds it's a shredded meat stew um, served with what looks like some kind of potato or uh, uh, vegetable in it and served with a rice on a bed of lettuce and it looks absolutely delicious so I'm just going to give the meat a try here Mm. That is the most delicious beef stew. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit spicy. It's very flavoursome, but it's not what I would call spicy. And uh, oh wow, absolutely delicious. It's the National Palace of Guatemala City. It's beautiful. It's having some renovation work, so we can't see the enormity of how beautiful it is. But have a look at this colour of the stone. It's fascinating. Ta -da. Oh, and fun fact, the currency is named the Quetzal because it is named after the bird. And for those of you that remember, we saw the Quetzal in Monteverde Cloud Forest in Costa Rica. Yeah, I think we've pronounced it wrong, but let's give it a go. <laughs> As you walk down the roads in Guatemala City, you just smell this flora. It smells lovely. Not how I would have imagined um, a city to smell. Um, and it's just lovely. It's yellow flower. I'm not sure what it is, so comment below because I'm not very good with flowers. But it smell 
smells lovely and we're literally just walking down the road and all these trees above us here are just littered with these beautiful yellow flowers. Hello, buenos dias. Hello. Um, and everybody's so lovely. Everyone's so friendly. We were literally told, do not go to Guatemala City, Guatemala City. literally avoid it, go straight to Antigua. But I'm really pleased we took that extra day to spend the day here. So, Chrissy's <laughs> fun fact for the day. Guatemala City has 3.7 million people in the metro area and is the largest city in Central America. Didn't know that until today. So we're just heading back to our hostel after eating far too much lunch. This is our hostel, Hostel Rocio. 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 Our friend in Almeria is called Rocio. So That's why I chose it. We're staying in Hostel Rocio. So let's go and take you inside so you can have a little look around where we are staying during our time here in Guatemala City. So this is the room that we're staying in. And we actually have it all to ourselves because it's the only room that has a double bed. And uh, it's actually, I think it fits like two, four, six, seven people. But it's great, it's a really, really big room. So it's been a nice comfortable couple of days here and we have a fan. In every hostel, there is a spectacular area that you get to come and chill in. And ours is this lovely courtyard area. There's actually a rose garden here. And this is where Chris and I are working. So how lovely is that? We've got a lovely area in this beautiful courtyard. And in fact, this is our favorite spot for breakfast. We have a lovely breakfast here with pancakes and fresh fruit. And we sneak over to this table because in the morning the sun's quite strong. So you've probably seen on previous videos, we've shown the showers with the electrics, but this shower is like on another level because it has the light switch actually behind the shower curtain. Can you imagine doing that outside Central America? So it's Sunday morning and we have met these guys, James and Jazz, Hello. from our hostel and we've come out venturing out because we want to go back to the Central Market to buy a dress for our granddaughter. So um, yeah, it's really good. And there actually seems to be a big market today opposite the cathedral. So let's go and have a look. So the market here that they have on Sunday mornings is absolutely amazing. Come down, there's beautiful food being cooked, lots of stands and more colorful clothing. Right opposite the cathedral. See, the cathedral's right there. Beautiful. So we're just walking towards the central market and we heard there's a procession on in the distance. So we're just gonna go and walk and see if we can see uh, exactly what's going on. You can hear they've got a brass band and everything and it looks like they're gonna be marching down in this direction. So we're just gonna hang out here and wait for them to come past. So we found goat droppings, which means that the goats we spoke about yesterday, where you can buy a fresh cup of goat's milk straight from the goat, 
should be around somewhere. So if we do find them, we'll be sure to try. So we did find the goats, but unfortunately, we didn't find the shepherd. So no trying of goat's milk this time. I'm secretly a little bit glad <laughs> that we didn't find the shepherd. <laughs> Or well, maybe, but you know, hey, when in Rome. <laughs> so we went to the market and I managed to find a beautiful dress uh, for my, our granddaughter and it's all hand woven, so it's really beautiful. Uh, Chris and I always think about haggling is how much are you prepared to pay for it? I don't like haggling hard because it's not my style at all. So um, I'm sure my granddaughter well, we normally, is listening. Yeah, we normally, uh, if, you, if you think the price is reasonable compared yeah. to what you're used to paying, yeah then just pay it yeah. you know you can haggle them down maybe a couple of pounds a couple of dollars here and yeah. there but if you're happy and the price is cheaper I'm than happy. back home I'm happy. we haggled them down a little bit but not too much yeah. the cathedral itself was built in <laughs> so we're going to try and find if we can find blah, blah, blah. and this church sorry this cathedral cut that's so cool Hola. Oh, oh, you've lost, your you've lost a couple of mangoes. <laughs> so in 1773 in Antigua there was a massive earthquake which destroyed the ch church slash cut. And then I think we're having a party tonight because there's a DJ going on. And then... <laughs> and then...